heard me play an E minor arpeggio in multiple positions as well as in two positions. Now uh, let's start by looking closely at the left hand fingering so I can show you how to play this. So let's take a look at the left hand fingers. And by the way, I'm going to go uh, while I'm telling you how to play it from the left hand perspective, I'll say a few things uh, about my right hand fingers so you uh, get a heads up with that at the same time. So we start with the low E and go to this E. So you're going to go thumb, index, middle, and ring finger. So it's E to E, then G to G, B to B, again still thumb, index, middle, and ring finger, E to E, then going to the third position, G to G. Notice that I sequentially place fingers down. I don't try to do it all at once. That's not efficient. This is a better way. Like that. Also going up to here. On the seventh position, B to B. And then E to high E. Now, what I'm doing here with the right hands, I'm going thumb, index, middle, I finger, index finger, again, instead of A finger this time, because I'm going to repeat that high note now with the A finger coming back, that ring finger. So ring finger, middle, I, thumb. So thumb, index, middle, I, and then ring finger, M, I, thumb, back down. To B to B. Again, that's just A M I P. A being the ring finger. P being thumb. G to G. E to E. B to B. G to G. And E to E. Let's do that all at once. One finger at a time, lay it down, same here. Position one, the left hand fingering is like this. Thumb, hammer on to the G, thumb, thumb, index, middle, ring, finger, thumb, index, middle, then ring finger, pull back. So that's a, uh, a slur back from the high G to the high E. Now the fingering is thumb, index, middle, A, middle, index, back down to the second position, A finger, that's ring finger, F, I, thumb, thumb. To the G and low G, or low E, sorry. Do that again. Now that 
it. You've seen the left hand. Let's put it all together by looking closely at the right hand figuring. Ready? So, okay, right hand fingering is P for thumb, I for index, M for middle, A for ring finger. So, P, I, M, A, that's E to E, G to G is P, I, M, A, B to B again, P, I, M, A, P, I, M, A. G to G, P I M A. It's all P I M A until you get to this twelfth position half bar, and then it's P I M I. Repeat that high E with the A coming back now. A M I P. A M I P. That's B to B. G to G. A M I P. E to E. A M I P. Without talking, the two position one for the right hand fingering is. P, hammer on, P, P, I, M, A. Now starting on the third string, that's the G string, on the bar on the 12th fret, you're going to go P, I, M, A, pull off, M, I, A, M, I, P. Actually, coming back would be A M I P P, and then hammer on from the B note to the low G, like that. So, so it's instead of it's okay. So let me show you that again. time. Thumb, 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 index, middle, ring finger, thumb, index, middle, A finger, pull off, M, I, A, M, I, P, P, hammer on, to finally the thumb again. I'll do that fast. enjoyed the arpeggio in E minor. Uh, keep checking back. There's going to be new tips and lessons all the time. Uh, this is just the first of many keys. I actually go through all the keys, uh, major and minor, on uh, this series. This is part of the Mastering Arpeggios Volume 2. Happy practicing.